Yeah. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> behind us. Perfect. <laughs> you can really see all the influences of Picasso and Matisse in your painting. So we were wondering if you could tell us a little bit about what attracts you to them specifically and how you translate that inspiration into your own work. Yeah, every artist, you know, has their favorite influences and Picasso and Matisse are definitely two of my favorites. Um, I, I studied abroad in Barcelona, so I think I first really fell in love seeing their work in person and just kind of um, relating, relating to it um, because I love the boldness of a lot of their shapes. And they were both obviously big figurative painters and portrait painters. And I think that's a really relatable subject because we're all people and we like to see people and see faces and expression. Um, so I think it's just an interesting subject. And um, with both of their work, you know, I think um, just the sort of representational aspect of it where it can be abstract or um, like a deconstructed puzzle almost, you know, that like has misfit pieces. So you're sort of looking at it and trying to figure out, you know, what is this? You know, you see a face or you see a shape, but you know, you're kind of making your own um, story out of it. I, I, I really think the best artists take a little piece of everyone, you know, of all the greats. I mean, I have so many loves. I love Willem de Kooning. I love Demon Corn. I mean, you know, if I could have one of all of them, I would, I would love, but yeah, I really think if you, if you take a little something away from every, you know, masterful artist, then you'll, you know, really make it your own and come up with something that's, um, you know, a modern take on classical work, which is what I try to do. Well, we love your work. And, and so we're curious if you work from real life studies, um, or is there a different process that you follow to create your compositions? Yeah, um, I mostly work from memory. Sometimes I will just kind of start like in a sketch pad, I'll just kind of start having a flow of, you know, shapes and I'll just start drawing a composition and just, you know, piecing together like some geometric shapes. And then I'll say like, you know, what is the story I want this painting or like, what do I want the focus to be in the painting? So with that yo-yo piece, um, I actually, I just like came across this yo-yo that I had as a kid that I used to play with. And I was like, oh, this is an interesting object, you know, that can be a real metaphor for life. And so I started thinking about, you know, the idea of control and like the false perception of control. Like, you know, they say the secret to life is everything is out of control. <laughs> so you just have to accept that there's lots of ups and downs. So I just wanted to basically paint a figure, you know, holding uh, the object and, you know, show a lot of, you know, movement and, um, and uh, sort of the structure of my figures being so geometric. It also kind of plays into the control piece. Um, so it usually starts that way where I'm, I kind of sketch out a composition and then I'm just trying to think of, you know, uh, you know, make it a deeper story and, and connect the pieces. Yeah. And would you say overall your pieces have more figurative or abstract elements to them? Um, yeah, I always kind of toggle back and forth between being really figurative and and more abstract. So I think, you know, so I bore myself quite easily. <laughs> so I like to just um, go back and forth and um, kind of challenge myself to, you know, do things in a different way. Like sometimes artists can get really stuck in doing the exact same thing. And I totally respect that, but I think I'm too ADD. I have to like, you know, play with things a little bit. Um, so right now my work is shifting, I think a little more, a little bit more abstract. Um, and maybe that's just, you know, um, kind of like a softer feeling, you know, that's kind of evoking through my work. But, um, you know, I think I always want everything to be really 
representational and not too obvious. So I don't do, you know, a lot of really clear, you know, figures or faces or things like that. And I want to, I want the person looking at the work to say, you know, what are these objects and what is this painting telling me? And then they kind of come up with their own story and people will look at my work and say like, oh, well, this is what I saw. And I think that's fascinating. And it gives me a lot of joy that it kind of, you know, people find it intriguing and you can't necessarily tell what's happening in the painting. I think that's what's so great about abstract figurative is that everybody sees something different. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and, and it's really, I think that's fun for the artist to see yeah. what he sees in their work. And yeah. We really appreciate having your pieces here and thank you for all your effort and time. And, and this is one of the favorite pieces that we have right now. Right. Great. Well, thank you, Paige, yes. so much for doing this little Zoom with us. Of course. So fun talking about my favorite subject. <laughs> <laughs>